All right, I just wanted to show you guys a little video to review the convex concave rule that we covered in class today. You can see I got two bones here. One has a convex surface, this one's pink, and the other one has a concave surface, that's in yellow. You can kind of see that concave is scooped out, whereas this guy's curves over. When we put the bones together to um, sim sim simulate a joint, what we're going to do is we're going to move the concave surface and the bone first and watch what happens. If I hold the convex still and I move the concave bone, you'll note that this yellow joint surface and the bone itself move in the same direction. So if, if this side goes, if, if the surface goes up, the bone also goes up. If we move everybody down, you'll note that as the, the rest of the bone comes down, this joint surface also slides down. Now, if I hold the concave side still, and I'm gonna move the convex, you're gonna notice something a little bit different. As the bone goes up on this, the concave, uh, I'm sorry, the convex surface actually moves in the opposite direction. So as the bone goes up, the joint surface moves down. As the bone moves down, the joint surface moves up. Okay, that's the convex concave relationship with just a, another visual aid for you guys. What we used in class was our hands. And I put some different marks on my hands than we did in class. Uh, remember a couple things are, I don't want you to break your wrists um, when you do this motion and also don't move both hands at once. That gets confusing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna first move um, the concave side and what you'll see is, is I raise my arm up, my arm comes up, and this mark here, which is to simulate um, the joint surface, also moves up. So the concave side, the joint surface and the, and the bone move in the same direction. When I move the convex side with this mark and that mark, you'll note that the joint surface moves down, that moves down, while the rest of the bone moves up, and if that moves up, the rest of the bone moves down. So that's just kind of a little easy way for you to hopefully remember that during class because you'll always have your hands with you um, if you can just kind of remember con concave, convex, and their relationship.